like to talk to you. I'm not going to take up much of your time. Of course. Um, I've only got 10 minutes because i got to get to class, so what's up? My husband told me about you and your father. Oh, he did? Did he also tell you about my mom? No. Oh. Sorry. Maybe I'm not the one you should um, hear it from. But um, ever since your husband killed my father, he's been flirting with my mom. Constantly flirting. To be honest, she's got feelings for him too. She thinks he's very nice hands. Truth is, he's, he's beautiful hands. All doctors have clean, nice, beautiful hands. So I told her, I said, I have no problem with it if you want to go ahead. I mean, he seems like a nice guy, very nice guy. And I don't want to get in the way of, um, of her trying to get her life back on track. I'll be gone. I'll be gone in a few years. I'll get a job. If my husband made a mistake, if out of negligence or I don't know what, he caused this tragic thing to happen. I don't understand why I should have to pay the price, why my children should have to pay the price. You know, not long after my dad died, someone told me that I eat spaghetti the exact same way he did. They said, um, what an extraordinary impression this fact had made on them. Look at the boy. Look how he eats spaghetti exactly the same way his father did. He sticks his fork in, he twirls it around and around and around and around and around. And then he sticks it in his mouth. That time, I thought I was the only one who ate spaghetti that way. Me and my dad. Later, of course, I found out that everyone eats spaghetti the exact same way. Exact same way. Exact same way. This made me very upset. Very upset. Maybe even um, more upset than when they told me he was dead. My dad. I don't know if what is happening is fair, but it's the, uh, the only thing I can think of as close to justice. Time's getting on, and if I'm late for class, I'm done for. <laughs> Have a good day.